All right, the best votes are being done by uh, Gary. They are. Now, um, in a game that uh, didn't reach any heights, I thought Jordan McKenzie's job on Sam Mitchell was highly, highly commendable. So where there's a lot of free footy going around, a lot of uncontested possessions, um, I thought McKenzie's ability to keep uh, Sam Mitchell, who I rate enormously highly to a very average output by his own standards, was great. So he gets one. How many Mitchell have, uh, Gaz? End up with 22, 15 kicks and seven handballs. But he kept Mitchell to seven touches in over an hour of footy at one stage. So... I just thought that was noteworthy. Rather than give it to someone that ended up with a stack of footy, I thought that was deserving. Uh, Brad Sewell uh, played a wonderful game. We spoke to Sully. His work, I gave him two votes for work rate and persistence. And I thought Jordan Lewis continues to have a massive impact on this uh, on this Hawthorne footy side. And he's having a great year. And he gets my three votes. Jordan Lewis gets the three. Uh, very nicely done by him. All right, the other votes, uh, Chief. He wants a piece of them. I don't really want a piece of them, Jim. It was a tough night. I reckon, to be brutally honest, could have found 15 or so Melbourne players and probably half a dozen Hawthorne players. Could easily have found themselves in these votes. Uh, I ended up going with some senior players from the Ds. I gave one vote to Brent Maloney. Really struggled. Um, he just had the 16 possessions. Half his kick's no good. Two votes to Aaron Davey, who just doesn't do enough. He doesn't work hard enough. He had a dozen possessions, but no impact whatsoever when they genuinely needed him to set some things up. And I gave three to Colin Silby, and I, I know he's missed uh, quite a bit of footy, but, gee, he couldn't find the footy at all day. Half a dozen possessions. That was it for Colin. Maloney, Davey, Sylvia. Sort of sums up a bit about where the Ds are at. Just a bit of mind and link there from Chief. No. He had enough. No, no it wasn't much of a, you know, black lust for fair all round, you, you included. <laughs> Just a little clip to finish. My man that uh, Jason famously once described as Mr. Squiggle. Um, we are going to take our final break here. Tonight. You're a good chief. <laughs> we, we join tomorrow for midday, where we are in Adelaide for the Cats and the Crows, and Spud joins us. And from the texting I'm receiving, Spud wants a piece of tomorrow from <laughs> midday because there's a bit flying around that he doesn't like the sound of. So that's going to be interesting listening from midday tomorrow.